Hey y'all, it's Turquoise. Welcome back to another Create a Sim here on my channel. So today we are giving a makeover to the goth family. Last week I did Bella's side of the family, the bachelor family. Today I am doing the actual goth family, Bella, Mortimer, and their son Alexander. If you will notice, Cassandra is not here. That's because for my sim save, who I am creating, the, which I'm kind of creating this family for, they're going to be in my sim save. Cassandra's a young adult, she just moved out, she has a husband, she has kids. Okay, Alexander's actually a teen and you'll you kind of see that in the bottom corner. Right now he's got kind of the long hair, I'll eventually get to his makeover later. Right? But if you saw the thumbnail of this video, you'll notice there's three new people in the household. There's two elders and a child. I decided, okay, I've said this a lot for the makeovers I've been doing. It's been 10 years. The Sims 4 has been out for 10 years. So I wanted to change the family up a little bit, maybe add some new players, maybe add some old players. So last week I created Bella's mom, dad, brother, sister-in-law, and nephews. For the goth family, I decided to add Mortimer's parents Gunther and Cornelia to the household, as well as give Mortimer and Bella a daughter, a younger daughter who's younger than Alexander. Her name's Eleanor, and she's maybe my favorite goth so far, even though she's completely created by me, just because while everyone else in the household's kind of red and black, the traditional colors of the goth family, Eleanor is very pink she's very pink she she likes black but she likes pink and it 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 made me happy something else you will notice is i actually go in and i change some of the aspirations as well as some of the traits of the sims i thought it'd be funny if all members of the goth family mortimer bella cassandra alexander and eleanor all had their creative traits because they're all kind of a creative family. And I also thought Bella should have the soulmate aspiration just because she and Mortimer have been together for so long, right? When you play The Sims 3, you can play as both of them as children. They can become friends. You can have them dating as teens. Like, they're together in every single universe except, you know, The Sims 2 where Bella goes missing. But they're always together and, you know, he's her soulmate and I think it's cute. And also, since Mortimer's a writer in the game, I thought it'd be better to give him the writing aspiration rather than the uh, Renaissance Sim one. So yeah, I also felt this kind of better catered, especially for Mortimer and Bella to their traits back in the uh, Sims 3, which is what I've been trying to kind of do with all these families I'm making over. And so now I'm on Alexander's makeover and he is actually so cute. I I love him in this save. He is so adorable. And I do give him glasses because he did have glasses as a child. So it's only right he still has them as a, his little teen self. Gave him a little beanie. Like in my mind Alexander's more gray. Like he likes the color gray. Like when you see the speed build I do of their house on Thursday you'll notice his room's a lot more gray rather than like black but yeah I he's really cute he's one of my favorites so far like this doing this makes me want to play with the goth family some more it really does just because they have this whole new look they're adorable they have this different dynamic it's cute and yeah uh eventually you'll see me add more to most parents I kind of based their uh, traits and aspirations off of what they were in The Sims 3. Just because that's kind of the best reference point I have for them. And also, I did create three more members of the goth family, but they're all kind of dead and they have to be for a certain build I'm doing later. Like, the goth family isn't on a big enough lot that I can give them a graveyard. Like. The goth family should have a graveyard, but the, the yard's not big enough, right? So I just get, when you, it gets to their build, they have a nice, simple, little, kind of old style, kind of mansion kind of thing. But like, yeah, they have no graveyard, but some of these sims are carrying graves. But yeah, here's little Eleanor and all of her pink and black beauty. 
I love her so much. She is definitely one of my favorites. My favorite member of the goth family and I'm the one that created her. But yeah, um, I think I'm gonna stop talking here. You guys can enjoy the rest of this create sim watching me create Mortimer's parents. Uh, go ahead and leave a like if you're enjoying watching me create all of these sims and give these families makeovers. Uh, go ahead and subscribe so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody.